guys we're back with another video here with electric cuts check out the deal that we just got snapper 21 inch rwd rear wheel drive with the briggs and stratton professional series 175 cc 7.7 .7 pound feet of torque at 2600 rpm so we got this one at my favorite place to shop which is Walmart it said here priced at 170.24 save 95.76 there's a there's a lot of good deals going on going on at Walmart for these mowers right now they're at 266 we were able to negotiate the price down to 110 uh, and the reason that we were able to do that was because it was missing the side discharge. It didn't have the oil for it. It was a display model. And if you guys can see here, that tire, oh, that doesn't help him. That tire is crooked. So I'm going to attempt to fix that. Oh, and another thing is that it was missing the filter. So... I'm going to have to find it a filter, and uh, that's basically it. So I think for a $60 discount, I can afford a filter, right? So it's got the self-propelled, and it's you know, the, you got the two handles so that if there's bushes on your right, you can just pull with the left. If there's bushes on your left, you can pull with the right. It does the same motion. It does, it's not like the four-wheel drive that one handle engages the front-wheel drive and the other handle engages the rear-wheel drive. It's just uh, the, the same handle engages the rear-wheel drive. I mean, both handles engage the rear-wheel drive. So we're going to attempt to fix this mower. We're going to, right now, we're going to put some oil in it and some gas and see if it fires up we're going to block off the intake for the carburetor um, we're going to block, block it off with maybe a clean rag just to make sure no dirt gets in there in case the blades bring up a lot of uh, dirt so stay tuned guys There you have it guys, just put a little rag over this and some uh, rubber bands there just so no dirt will get in there. I'm going to go ahead and cover that up. Lock that in. As you can see it's brand new, there's nothing, no gasoline in there whatsoever. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can put the light in there. There is no gasoline in there. And let's take a look at the oil. Oh, that's an interesting gas cap. Look at that. I've never seen that before. That's not how my older snapper is. That's interesting. I guess maybe so it'll line up better. So you won't misalign it, it won't leak out fuel. And then the oil. It's got a little bit of oil in there. I think it's just, it's got the oil that is, uh, it comes prepackaged with. Just so that if people do end up turning it over, that it doesn't. Uh, hurt the cylinder right. Some people they'll forget to put the oil in and They'll hurt the cylinder right off the bat so I guess they do that as a safety Safety feature it's got a little bit of dirt in there. So uh, Let me go ahead and put some oil in here and uh, Put some gas and we'll be right back 
Okay guys, so we filled it up with oil. Let's see. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that's about it's about right. Maybe I put a little bit too much. But once it starts running, I can double check it again. So it's no mystery how we pour oil into a lawnmower, so I saved you guys that. Basically, this is what I'm putting in. I'm putting in some Castrol Edge SAE 5W30 Advanced Full Synthetic. So it's full synthetic. And obviously you use a cone so you don't spill. And that's it. Now I'm going to go ahead and pour some gasoline and then we'll try to start it up. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you a little trick. A lot of people complain about these types of uh, nozzles for the fuel uh, fuel tanks. So in order to pour, all you have to do is click down here, click here, and then press down with your finger right here. And yeah, it might hurt a little bit, but it's just for a little while. Pour it, and then when, once you're done, you let go. When you're going to pour again, press, hold this down, pour. When it's filling up, let go, and that's it. You don't have to. A lot of people, they say, oh, it's really hard to push down on this here, and you have to press it down on here so it'll go, and you're going to break your gas tank off. No. Just press down here, and open it up manually with your finger. Pour it. Let go. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pour. I don't have a tripod set up, so I'm going to pour it, and then I'm going to... Well, you know what? I'm going to do it one-handed so you guys can see. This thing's not that heavy. It doesn't have too much fuel in here. So you just make sure that you have your fuel in there. Press down. Pull the trigger. And you can pour slower or faster. So we're just going to put a little bit of fuel in there. Just in case we need to tip it over when we're doing the tire fix. So that's it got fuel in there and see no spill no spills you just got to use your we just got to use our ingenuity our brain and then these little caps this is to cover this right here see everything has its purpose and then once you're done Take this cap off, unscrew this, put this inside out again, and then put that cap in there. So, I'll show you how to do that right now as a bonus, just because you're my subscribers. So, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. Let's see if it'll start up. Everybody says that this is hard to do single-handedly. Trust me, it is. So, here we go. So you gotta you want to get past that compression zone right there. Once you're out of that compression zone, 